Hello and welcome back to part three of my build of a treetop town. As you can see, we are in our lovely time lapse third person views finally. So, thanks to all the guys who hung in there waiting for this. I hope you like this more. Right, so this is how we left it off at the end of the last part. And so, uh, the first thing I want to do is build out a path from the nightclub bar shack we built last time. Heading over towards a new area. I'd like to get quite a lot covered in this part. So to start with, we're uh, just capping this tree off here with some wood to make a bit of a platform. More as a meeting point than, than a uh, an area by itself. Now we're leading over to this big tree, which I thought was a good place to start work on a large building. So I thought, you know, maybe the wealthier or the leaders, chiefs of tribes and treetop people, or uh, it depends how the civilization actually works out. But the important or rich people should live in a big, bigger house than the other people. So this is kind of like a, a double story idea that I wanted. So I was clearing some of the leaves to keep it flat, but I thought I'd keep some in a kind of archway for the entrance because I thought that would look. Well, that's kind of the effect I wanted. And then otherwise I just followed the, uh, the path of the tree around so that it didn't look symmetrical or anything. So it looked like I'd kind of gone with the tree to give it this kind of natural feel despite being man-made. Suck some windows in on each side because, you know, Important people are gonna want a nice view of, of the outside world. It's also a prominently placed tree where you can kind of look over the, the swamp next to it. And stuck some torches down to keep it all light before adding a roof in. Of course, this wasn't a roof, this was actually a floor for the second floor. Which I then built stairs up to. And in the same way, I just followed this round to create the walls for this floor. But as this was going to be more the bedroom, I wanted like a, like a wall of... Um, windows so you could see out more just on all sides and just added some torches to keep it light and then uh, capped off the roof of that rather large slime in the distance there, I didn't see that before I added a double bed, which you can just make out through the window. Keep it homely, and then uh, I was pretty much done with it. So let's uh, zoom out a little bit so we can take a better look at this build. There we are. See, I used the leaves to cap off the roof to keep that natural feel. Now, the next thing I wanted was an extension for this large house. I wanted a pool of some kind. So I'd played around with a few ideas. Eventually I decided I wanted it to be uh, wooden, the rim, but with a glass base.
and built a path leading up to the vines, which would come straight down from the house into the pool. And started to fill it up, and it proved to be a bit tricky after the bottom layer because filling in the middle ones. <clears throat> so what I ended up doing was building some wood over the top of it and then filling it in from underneath that. And then getting rid of it after it afterwards. And there we have it, a pool. Add a fence around it to keep it safe. And fence up the path going down to it. There we are. All nice. So let's just have a bit of a look at what we've achieved so far. Our double story building and pool I think fits in quite nicely with its, uh, its surroundings here. So we have the observatory overlooking the plains. Down here we have the original house, platform above it. Then the nightclub bar and uh, the double story house in the distance. With pool. I mean. <laughs> right, so the next thing I wanted to do was to create a place for the less well off people to live. Because I feel like there aren't enough houses around at the moment. So I wanted a general housing area where I could fit quite a few houses so we could sustain quite a few more people. So I went down to some of the lower trees and built a platform across them, trying to keep it symmetrical in terms of the tree design, which meant that I added a few leaves in to keep the design the same. And I made quite a large platform going between these, which I was going to build up some small, very small little huts on, with just enough space for someone to sort of sleep in, and they won't be spending their lives in there. So it doesn't matter that it's too small, because they've got the whole town to live it up in. This is the kind of design I went for. I wanted to use the jungle wood. It looked like it had literally just been chopped from the trees and stuck straight there. And then I only used planks for the roof. Also stuck a door and a bed inside each one and a window. I was happy with this design and so I just repeated it several times. For the other three I did the same but facing the other way so that they were perfectly symmetrical. So that eventually we'd have six new houses for six new residents of the town to live in. I didn't want to make any two living areas the same so I've got, if you think about it, this, these huts, the two-story house the main tree house that we first built and then there's the home inside the leaves of the tall tree which is just in the background on the right at the moment. Just all for that bit of variation. I then built a path coming down to this platform so that it all joined up.
the fence that off to keep it safe. And my last touch I thought was to add some torches to the top of everything, just because then uh, it would stay light at night time. And there we are, that's, that's the uh, living quarters done. So that's about all we're going to cover in this episode of the Let's Build. Let's have another look at the area. Got our double floor house with its pool. Some of this, uh, these paths still need lighting up. There's the platform and the nightclub bar. Over here we're seeing the original house and platform. We head round over the top. We'll eventually come to the observatory. And then round to the new living quarters. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.